Hey guys, EBG Man here. Now, if you're looking to provide full coverage for your home from a Wi-Fi perspective, then this is gonna be a video that you'll wanna check out. Cause today we're taking a look at the Deco AXC 11,000. This is a full home Wi-Fi solution. It's more than a home, it's like a McMansion coverage. 6,500 square feet, that's how much we're talking about. And it has Wi-Fi 6, so it's gonna give you the fastest possible speeds, as well as as you're upgrading all your equipment and you start meeting that Wi-Fi 6, you'll already be there and ready for it. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now this solution from TP-Link, the Deco, is a great solution for large and small homes. As we mentioned, 6,500 uh, feet is the coverage. It also has Wi-Fi 6E, 6 gigahertz tri-band, and it can support up to 200 devices. Now when you hear 200 devices, you may at first start thinking about, wow, that's kind of a little crazy. But when you think about the fact that our homes are becoming more and more connected, and you see our homes have thermostats, have switches, have lights, all of these things add up. Literally every single light bulb of your home, if it's a smart light bulb, counts as a device. So 200 plus devices is not a far stretch. It has also AI driven mesh technology, which means that this is gonna be able to be used throughout your house. Literally one of the um, access points or the main uh, router basically sits next to your internet connection and the other one gets placed somewhere else in your home and it's able to extend the Wi-Fi. Now it also then has TP-Link Home Shield, which is going to protect your home, and it has uh, various uh, controls that we'll talk about. Uh, supports 8K streaming, gaming, 4K streaming, and a whole bunch of other things. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be able to support all of those bandwidth hungry, hungry devices, this is gonna do it. You have network protection, protection as well. So you have real-time IoT protection, malicious site blocking. You also have, um, you know, intermission prevention, which is gonna really help you also uh, control everything that's going on. And then also it has uh, parental controls as well. And those parental controls are going to help, uh, especially if you have little ones and you wanna control Wi-Fi access. All right guys, so now in the box, you're gonna have two uh, power supplies, which we're gonna move over to the side. And then what you have is an ethernet cable, which I highly recommend. You wanna use the supplied ethernet cable because this is gonna give you the fastest possible bandwidth. Now I've at times, I uh, have found that if you use maybe one that you have in your home or your previous one, that when you start testing, all of a sudden you're not seeing the kind of advertised speeds. Typically it could be related to the cable itself. So make sure you're using the one that they supplied or you have one that is certified for the top speeds of the router. Now you do have, um, again, here are our TP-Link units and you'll notice that they're, they look identical. And matter of fact, for most part they are. Uh, the cool thing about this is that you're going to take one of these, it doesn't matter which one, you're going to take one of them and you're going to basically plug this into your main internet uh, router that's coming in from your provider, right? You plug that in and then once you plug that in and you're going to plug it into one of these black ones, you'll plug it into only one of these and let's say you put this one aside and then this is the one that you use, um, you'll do all the configuration from this one right here. Once you've done all the configuration from this one, then you'll plug in the second one. And then what they'll do is they'll connect together. Now, if we take a look at this, what you'll find is, um, you know, at the very bottom here, they have this rub these rubberized feet, right? At the very top, you'll notice that they are somewhat taller, right? Uh, but aesthetically, I'll tell you, Nilla didn't have a problem with this being in the kitchen. So we I had this in the kitchen. It didn't bugger at all because it didn't look like that technical to it. It actually looked like, like an appliance that should be in the kitchen. So she really, really liked this. And this could be placed anywhere you have in your home. So one would go in your, again, close to your router and the other one would be placed somewhere else in the house. So next, let's take a look at the app and then we'll see the performance. So let me describe my home uh, before we actually go into the actual app itself. Um, I have a multi-unit home. It's considered a quad and my internet gateway is in the lowest level. Um, Chicago, we have basements, so it's all the way in the basement. I have my access point or one of the nodes, I have it on the first main level, and I am on the last level, which is considered uh, the fourth level. Now, uh, I've been seeing um, anywhere from one gigabit, which is what I get in my gateway coming in from my internet provider, all the way as low as 700 megabits. And I've seen, depending on where I'm at in the house, 900 megabits. And you're gonna see some of my testing results um, in a couple seconds. So first of all, let's take a look at the app here. And you'll notice um, 
I've basically have a, the setup here where you have network diagnostics, you have Wi-Fi settings that you can go into, you have kind of like um, what's going on on this specific uh, router. I don't have a lot going on on this router right now. I took everything off for this video, uh, but um, you can see that I have one client online and that's my phone right now. I also then have uh, a scan that has taken place and this is what Home Shield Pro will do for you, right? It's going to tell you if there is anything that you should be worried about, right? And it's going to tell you if you have, um, again, malicious content, intrusion prevention, and then DDoS prevention as well. And you can subscribe to that. And then it has smart home um, type connectivity. Now, what we'll, we'll do is we'll go into the parental controls. And in the parental controls area, this is going to be great for especially for those of you uh, that are parents and want to just make sure that you have, again, control over access to your network. And here, if you were to choose, you know, one of your children, you would select the age. Let's say you have a nine-year-old, right? And then we have this stuff going on. What we'll do is then go ahead and name. We'll then go ahead and name. I'll call it test child. And then we'll hit next. Uh, we'll choose the type of device that they're using. So in, there's a lot of devices here, which I'm going to blank out. And we'll go ahead and choose one of them. And now what you'll notice here is that this device basically has now been assigned. So if your child has an iPad, has an Android tablet, any kind of device, iPhone, you're going to be able to select that device and then apply these rules. So here you can filter content. You can determine what your filter content is, right? So you can see the, all the different categories here that you can choose. This is a great tool for peace of mind for parents. You could block websites, right? What you could also then do is determine what the bedtime is, right? So you can see the hours here. You can then also set off, um, you know, time limits, right? So you can control how much they're on and how much they're off. And then also off time, right? I'm going to go ahead and delete this profile. But those are some of the flexibility uh, when it comes to choices that you have there. Now we're going to go into the more section for a little bit. And then in, we're going to go into Wi-Fi settings. And here you're going to be able to see your network settings, right? 2.4 and 5 gigahertz um, settings. And you can see my uh, network name and my password. Not, I'm going to delete this. I'm not worried about it. And then you can notice that my backhaul is using 6 gigahertz for the, for the backhaul. Uh, so that's, uh, that's how I have uh, this one set up. Um, you could go into IoT network, so you can create, you know, use these services if that's something that you want to play with. WPS, which I don't really bother with at this point. Um, this is all your IP information, right? And your IP4 and IP uh, version 6. You can do quality of service as well. So the quality of service is really cool, especially if you have a home full of teenagers that are constantly streaming content. Um, this gives you, especially if you're working from home, the ability to control how much bandwidth you have versus everyone else. I use this a lot in my network just to make sure I can have my YouTube and also my work stuff uh, taken care of. Um, on the advanced section, you'll notice that there's a lot of advanced capabilities here that you can uh, mess with. If you're not someone who's into you know, DHCP, um, address reservation, don't worry about it. You don't have to go in here. I'm just showing you that it's there. Uh, you can set up managers, LED control, and then you can go into system. So it's pretty, pretty robust, right? And just got out by mistake. Let's go back to it. Uh, what else is there that I think you can benefit from? Let's see. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You know, you can definitely see your network and you can see all your speeds, everything that's going on there. So next, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the performance I'm getting. All right, so I have my test going now and you can see uh, the kind of speeds that I'm getting. Um, this is uh, on my main floor. Um, and this is basically giving me up to 907 megabits. And remember, my, my network total capacity or, or what I subscribe to is 1.2, um, right? And so this is really good. So I get a gigabit in and I'm getting 906 uh, megabyte, megabits down. I'm really happy with that performance, especially from this type of solution. So it's really doing extremely well. Uh, we're gonna run one more test and then we're gonna see how this is going. And here we have a second test and just want to make sure we're okay. And I'm seeing the same thing. It's almost around the same speed. Um, yep, it's probably gonna hit. Yep, it hit 900 megabits. 
that is not bad for Wi-Fi. That is really, really good for Wi-Fi. And then the other thing that you can see is that the upload speeds are pretty spectacular too. You know, 40 megabits, that's good. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.